We have buried the putrid corpse of liberty, the dictator Mussolini tells the Italian people. And he says, war alone puts the stamp of nobility upon the peoples who have the courage to face it. For the imperial glory of fascism, he has begun his own little war by sending his troops to conquer defenseless Ethiopia. Force rules, the dictator Hitler is telling the German people. Force is the first law. Defying the Treaty of Versailles, he sends his Nazi troops into the demilitarized Rhineland. Before the 30s are half over, all major international treaties are broken. According to Hitler, in eternal peace, mankind perishes. Congress declare that since the unprovoked and dastardly attack by Japan on Sunday, December 7, 1941, a state of war has existed between the United States and the Japanese Empire. December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. It had happened so suddenly, it was hard to believe. was out, the target was London. It was a fight that will live forever in the story of human gallantry. Lift up your heart. All will come right out of the depth of sorrow and of sacrifice. Will be born again the glory of mankind. El Alamein. After two years of war that raced back and forth across the sands of North Africa, after months of feverish preparation, the front erupted. Out of Egypt and across Libya, the Africa Corps was in full rout. The Nazis learned what it was like on the receiving end. The Nazis had made it a fortress which blocked the road to Rome. We had no choice. They were no longer supermen. And they had to learn the hard way that it was all a delusion. of the all-civilian outfits in Europe were there. They hadn't forgotten how to greet a pretty girl. For some, it was a day of rest. But for others, there was work to be done. 